This is an overview of some of the new AI features that have just been added to, to Social Booth. First off, the processing time has been greatly reduced. Most photo effects will be completed in 30 to 40 seconds. We've added eight new AI effects, including the viral action figure effect, an age changer, beauty filter, bobbleheads, celebrity selfies, and more. You can now add your own effects with custom prompts and tweak existing effects with prompt modifiers. You can also personalize AI photos for each user by allowing them to input text or record voice prompts. Let's take a look at the new effects. First up is the action figure effect. You probably have seen these all over the internet lately as everyone has been posting these to social media. This effect also showcases the new user input feature, which is used to place the user's name on the packaging. The user input can be added via the on-screen keyboard or even recorded with a microphone. Next up is our age changer. This effect will allow users to transform themselves into children, senior citizens, and everything in between. The next effect is a variation off the age changer called age collage. It takes a single photo and displays four photos of the user in various stages of life. The beauty filter has gotten a serious upgrade. Our new AI beauty filter goes way beyond basic skin smoothing or color correction, producing results that look straight out of a magazine. Our bobblehead feature is sure to be a hit. It turns any regular portrait into a cartoonish bobblehead. And with prompt modifiers and the user input feature, users can even customize their bobblehead to place themselves on their favorite team. Ever wanted to meet a famous celebrity? Now you can. Our new celebrity effect will create a photo of you and just about any famous person you like. The hot or not effect takes a single photo and shows two dramatically different versions, one where the person looks like a top model and another that's, well, let's just say less polished. With the instant family effect, the people in the photo will get their family portrait complete with their future children that closely resemble them. The wardrobe feature has been greatly improved. It will now preserve logos and text from the clothing items, making it possible to dress the users in sports jerseys or really any type of clothing. The game room effect has also been updated and now includes many classic old school video games. Now let's take a look at how to set up user input, prompt modifiers, and custom effects. We'll use the bobblehead effect as an example. If we simply enable it and leave it as is, we'll get a bobblehead that closely resembles the person, clothes and all, but by using prompt modifiers, we can change their appearance and even let them choose their own variation with user input. To set this up, go into the configuration settings for the bobblehead effect and add an additional prompt modifier. Let's say we're at a baseball themed party in Boston. We'll just add wearing a Red Sox uniform to the prompt and now every bobblehead will be on the Red Sox. But instead, if we want the user to be able to choose their team, we just enable the user input option and replace the words Red Sox in the prompt modifier with this special placeholder tag. This will now insert whatever the user enters into the prompt and they will now be able to customize what team their bobblehead is on. The bobblehead category doesn't have any items in it, it just turns everyone into a bobblehead. But for categories that have sub options like celebrities, the additional prompt is a global modifier that will apply to everything in that category. For instance, if we add the additional prompt modifier taking a selfie, every photo will be the user taking a selfie with the selected celebrity. But maybe we don't want each celebrity photo to be modified in the same way. Maybe we want a photo with the president to be in a different scenario than a photo with Snoop Dogg. To do that, we need to go into the AI content folder. When you make changes to this folder, it's best to first make a copy of it and use that new folder as the source for your AI content in the configuration settings. So we'll remove the global prompt modifier in the settings and add unique prompt modifiers to specific prompts in the celebrities folder. Since the main prompt is determined by the name of the image file, to add a prompt modifier, we need to add a text file with the same name as the image prompt we want to modify. For Donald Trump, we're going to add in the Oval Office. So now every photo with Donald Trump and only Donald Trump will be in the Oval Office. But for Snoop Dogg, we're going to add something crazy like sitting around a campfire, roasting marshmallows, both wearing pajamas and see what that gives us. <laughs> Damn. This is also very useful in the art studio category. Without a prompt modifier, the image may turn out to be something that is just in the style of a particular artist. But with a prompt modifier, you can instruct the AI to put the user into a specific painting as well. Now, let me show you how to create your own completely custom prompts. 
The process is very similar to what we have already been doing with text files for prompt modifiers. The difference is that in the custom category, the name of the image isn't the prompt like it is in all the other categories. It, it still gets shown to the user like the other categories, but the actual prompt is in the text file as shown here. Another possible way to use this is to simply put the user input placeholder in the custom prompt file. Um, this is basically a blank canvas for the user to create any image they want based on what they enter or record on the user input screen. You'll notice that we also added the ability to wait for the AI processing to complete and display the normal share and print screen. There's also an option to display a small game to distract the users for 30 to 40 seconds while they wait for their photos. If the wait becomes too long, they can just hit the done button and they will be prompted for their email or phone number so they can receive their photo later. Uh, we've gone over a lot of information, so I suggest watching this video a few times while you download the latest version of Social Booth. There's a ton of new AI features and we can't wait to see what you come up with.